The Bradshaw Mountain Bears in 2016 completed one goal by going undefeated in section, but fell short of the ultimate goal, a state championship. Well, you know, we've kind of like left it in the past. You know, we, we still have our chip on our shoulder, you know, but we're, we've kind of just moved on and we, you know, we think about last, last year, but we're trying to just get this year going and try to build off of last year, but we're also just trying to keep focus on this year instead. The 2017 squad looks a bit different, with many players on offense and defense leaving via graduation, along with Chuck Moeller taking over as head coach after David Moran was not renewed. Moeller has experience at the collegiate level, previously being an offensive line coach with Stanford and Oklahoma State University, just to name a few. The success both over the history of the Bradshaw Mountain High School program and recently is what caught Moeller's eye. You know, it's had a strong football tradition all, you know, through a, its induction, you know, into high school football. And anytime you can be part of a program that's had success, it's fun. The Bears were an offensive juggernaut in 2016, scoring at least 24 points a game and putting up over 50 on an opponent three times. Considering most of the offense graduated, Moeller now works on building the younger players. 94.7% of the offense graduated last year. So we have a lot of building. We're, you know, we're not, you know, the cupboard's not bare. They, I mean, obviously there were these kids, some of them played backup, some of the linemen played as a very young age as sophomores. So we just got to build on it. We've got to make sure that we do the right things, um, not overload them with too many things. And uh, our, our big thing is, you know, run very, you know, similar schemes and use a lot of formations and a lot of shifts and motions and uh, just keep moving that way. Taking over as the quarterback is senior Timmy Young. He was a wide receiver last year, notching 357 yards. Now as the field general, it presents new jobs for Young. There you go, good shot. Uh, being a receiver is you only have to learn one spot. Uh, being a quarterback, you have to know every single spot on the field. You gotta know every receiver, all the line formations, all the line blocking schemes, what the running back's doing. So you gotta know what everyone's doing. You gotta be a field general. Just as the offense, the Bears' defense also boasts new faces as well. The plan for Moeller is just to work on nailing the basics. We just have to continue to pursue to the ball, gang tackle, and make sure that you know uh, we have the guys you know. Right alignment, right assignment, and go from there and let the, let the athleticism determine who wins. As regular season games are set to begin in just a couple of weeks, the Bears are becoming more comfortable with the various new aspects of the 2017 squad and look ready to pounce when the Friday night lights are turned on for real, a state championship in mind. We're a young team and uh, we started out spring kind of uh, slow at first, but now we're picking it up and we're starting to get back on track. I think championship would be perfect. I don't think anything less than that would be good. Meanwhile, the fans will also see something new. Each helmet will feature a sticker representing the various branches of the United States Armed Forces. In addition, honorary captains will be present prior to each game and at halftime. Last year we had the, the scratch marks on the side of the helmet, but uh, we wanted to support our armed forces this year with the emblems. So we got the, the Navy out here, Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, we got all of them out here, and we're just trying to support our armed forces. You know, they sacrifice their lives for us, so why don't we just support them? The Bears kick off the season at 7 p.m. Friday, August 25th, at home against Cactus. In Prescott Valley, Torrance Dunham, PrescottValleyEnews.com.